Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the while loop. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file, while loop.html. And inside this HTML file, I have written the following code. And inside the JS folder, I have created while loop.js file, which is this one. And inside this HTML file, I have included this JS file by writing this script tag. And so I have set the SRC of this script tag to JS slash while loop.js. Now we'll go ahead and open this file in Chrome. So this is our project folder and this is the while loop.html. And now we'll also open the dev tools. So we'll go to view developer and we'll select the dev tools. And we'll go to the console tab and since it is empty at the moment that means we don't have any error all right so why do we use a loop well we use a loop when we want to run or execute a piece of code multiple times let's say for example we want to print hello world in the browser 10 times so if we are not using any loop then one way of writing the hello world text in the browser is we have to use document.write and we can then write hello world. And since we want to print this 10 times, we can simply copy this or uh, let me put a paragraph tag. So that will have 10 lines. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it 10 times. So now if we save this file and go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get hello world 10 times. Now what if we want to print hello world 100 times? If we follow this, then we have to write this line document.write and within double quotes the string 100 times, which is not an efficient way to solve the problem. And this is where we use loop. So let's discuss the while loop. So let me comment this. So we use a while loop to execute or run a piece of code as long as a given condition is satisfied. So syntax of a while loop is we use the while keyword. Then we have the parenthesis and inside this we have a condition. Then we have the opening and closing curly brackets, which gives us the body of the while loop. And then we have some code inside the body of the while loop. And as long as this condition is satisfied, we execute the code inside the while loop. So we want to print hello world 10 times. So to solve this, we can have a counter. So we can write var c equal to one. And we are going to execute the code inside this while loop 10 times. So the condition is c less than equal to 10 and inside the body we want to print hello world in the browser so we'll simply copy this line and paste it and we have to keep updating the value of c in order to come out of this while loop and we can update the value of c by writing c equal to c plus 1 so we are incrementing the value of C by one. And now if we save this file, go back to Chrome, and if we reload, we get the same result. We can also, let me append this, we can also append the value of C. So now if we go back to Chrome, and reload, we can see we have hello world 10 times. So we first have a variable C and it is set to one. Then we have a while loop. Now the condition for the while loop is C less than equal to 10. So initially value of C is equal to one and the condition C less than equal to 10 is true. So we enter the body of the while loop. So at this line, 
we have document.write and we are writing hello world in the browser and we are also concatenating the value of C. So this will print one then hello world because the value of C is one at the moment and at this line we are incrementing the value of C by one. So initially value of C is one and we are writing one so we get one plus one that is two and we are assigning that value to variable C. So now C becomes 2 and then we go back to the condition. So now C is equal to 2 and C less than equal to 10 is true because 2 is less than 10 so it is true. So we again go back to the body of the loop and we execute this line which prints hello world and we are also concatenating the value of C so this time it prints to hello world and then we come to this line where we are incrementing the value of C by 1 so now the value of C becomes 3 and we then go back to the condition so now the value of C is 3 and the condition C less than equal to 10 is again true so we again print 3 hello world in the browser then we move to this line where we increment the value of c by 1 so c becomes 4 then we again go back to the condition so c is 4 and c less than equal to 10 is true so we again go back inside the while loop and we execute this line which prints 4 then hello world then we move to this line which increments the value of C by 1 so C becomes 5 then we move to the condition so C is equal to 5 and C less than equal to 10 is true so we again enter the body of the while loop execute this line which prints 5 space hello world and then we move to this line which increments the value of C by 1 so C becomes 6 then we move back to the condition so c is equal to 6 and c less than equal to 10 is true so we again execute this line which prints 6 space hello world in the browser then we go to this line where we increment the value of c by 1 so c becomes 7 then we move to the condition so c is equal to 7 and c less than equal to 10 is still true so we again execute this line and this time it prints 7 space hello world then we go to this line where we increment the value of c by 1 so c becomes 8 then we again move back to condition so c is equal to 8 and c is less than equal to 10 which is true so we again execute this line which prints 8 space hello world in the browser then we move to this line and we increment the value of C so C becomes 9 then we again move to the condition so we have C equal to 9 and C is less than equal to 10 so this condition is true and since it is true we again go back and execute this line which prints 9 space hello world and we increment the value of C so C becomes 10 then we jump back to this condition so C is equal to 10 and C less than equal to 10 this condition is still true so we again execute this line which prints 10 space hello world then we move to this line which increments the value of c by 1 so c becomes 11 now we have the interesting thing now c is equal to 11 so c is equal to 11 and now this condition c less than equal to 10 is false so we don't execute the body of the while loop that is 
we come out of the while loop. So when we run this code, we get the following output. We also have another loop which is called a do while loop. So let's say if we want to print hello world, let's say three times. So using the do while loop, which is similar to a while loop, but slightly different in syntax. So in a do while, we have a do keyword, then an opening and closing curly brackets. Then we have some code inside the body. Then we have the while keyword and the condition. So the difference between while loop and a do while loop is in a while loop, we first check the condition, then we execute the code inside the while loop. In a do while loop, we first execute the code inside the loop, then we check the condition. So if we want to print hello world three times, then we can have, let's say a variable C, which will be our counter. And we can set the value to one. Then inside the body, we can have document dot write and inside a paragraph tag, we can concatenate the value of C and give a space and write hello world. Then we can increment the value of C by one. So we can write C is equal to C plus one. Then in the condition, we'll write C less than equal to three. And now if we save the file, go back to Chrome, and if we reload, we get hello world three times. Now let's explore this code. So we have a variable C, which is initially set to one. Then we have a do while loop. And inside the body of this do while loop, we have this line, which will print the value of C space hello world. Then we have this line, which increments the value of C by one. So initially value of C is one and we enter the body of the do while loop. So we execute this line, which prints the value of C that is one space and then hello world. Then we move to this line, which increments the value of C by one. So C becomes two. Then we check the condition C less than equal to three and C is equal to two. And the condition C less than equal to three is true. So we'll again execute the code inside the do while loop. So now the value of C is two and we are going to execute this line, which will print two space hello world. Then we'll jump to this line, which will increment the value of C by one. So the value of C is three. And then we jump to the condition. So now the value of C is three and the condition C less than equal to three is true. So now we have C equal to three and the condition is true. So we'll again execute the code inside the do while loop. So we execute this line, which prints three space hello world. Then we move to this line, which increments the value of C by one. So C is now four. Then we jump to the condition. And this time C is equal to four. And the condition C less than equal to three is now false. So we jump out of this do while loop. All right, so we have learned about the while loop and the do while loop in this video. The difference between a while loop and a do while loop is in a while loop, we first check the condition. And if the condition is true or valid, we then execute the code inside the while loop. For a do while loop, we first execute the code inside the loop, then we check the condition. So in a while loop, first check the condition, then execute the code for a do while loop, first execute the code, then check the condition. So if we have a while loop, then the code inside the while loop will execute zero or more than zero time. For a do while loop, the code inside the loop will execute at least once. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. 
I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the important links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.